Hey guys, it's Eric Barfield again. I uh, have had so many people comment and ask questions about the previous video about the main stage running Keyscape that um, I wanted to do a follow up real quick. Uh, before we get started, I um, the criticism from the last video was that I was using the same instance of Keyscape, meaning that I was using all the same samples across 40 different um, 40 different instances and that's a valid one and again I'm no scientist or computer geek or anything like that I'm just a guy who bought an M1 and plays keys for a living so um, uh, this is you know just from purely like I'm excited about it because I play keys <laughs> not because I know what I'm talking about so what I've done is I've loaded in a bunch of instances of Keyscape and I pre-tested this just a little bit so that I can, um, I could see how it, it performed. And um, I'll just show you real quickly here. So what I've done is I fired up Keyscape and I loaded a grand piano on one. Then on two, I loaded in another grand piano, which has, I think these are different samples. But again, I'm not sure of that. I just know that it sounds enough different. It could be. And the icon's different, which I assume means maybe something. I don't know. I've got, and then a third one that I've loaded. And then I've started loading in the upright piano, the uh, another wing upright that I have, but this one's a different one than the last one. A Rhodes piano, a Wurlitzer, a Rhodes classic. And then the final one I put in was the Celeste. And again, this is not nearly as many as the last one. Uh, again, I'm duty testing this on the road, so I'm, you know I don't know. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine channel strips in place now. Now I'm going to fire up the CPU, and I'm going to fire up the memory. Uh, as you can tell right now, the memory, when not playing, is hovering around what 36 megabytes. Pretty good. Um, I'm going to fire up my caps lock keyboard, which again created a, a spike. It's interesting how this M1 chip acts so differently than the past. And then I'm just going to hold down and play a few notes here. So, doing it right hand is not my forte. <laughs> see if I can hold down the sustain pedal with one finger and just play some notes here. Okay, I apologize. That was pretty awful, but you can see it's still just barely spiking at all. And then here's the other secret that I didn't tell anybody about at the beginning. I'm running QuickTime, a bunch of web apps here. Um, I'm doing text edit, which isn't much, calendars, mail, Spotify, messages, contacts, reminders, and then Anytune software. And everything is running just clear as all get out with that. So yeah, again, I'm not saying that I know what I'm talking about, but I'm really impressed. So make your own judgments. If you have a thought, leave it in the comment. Maybe I'll make a video.